Hey everybody, so again, uh, people who watched the full video of the last video I just made, this is going to be redundant, but I'm just going to do it again because it's important, it needs to be known, um, and I like to put information in the title so people don't have to watch the full video, but as I've said many times, I'm going to continue saying this because it just needs to be said, the hemp plant, okay, in Genesis 9-3 in the Holy Bible, it talks about even as a green herb have I given you all things. The hemp plant has the capability to produce over 10, has over 10,000 industrial uses. It can help produce uh, cures for cancer. It can help produce uh, cures for addiction, for uh, neurodegenerative diseases, for, for hair, for skin care problems, for immune problems. For It can help grow your muscles. It can help your brain. It's going to help everything, okay? Not to mention it can help rejuvenate the soil. It's the only building material that actually sequesters CO2 from the atmosphere. Um, building with hempcrete is uh, just great in a number of different ways. It actually keeps the heat from getting too hot and also keeps the cold from getting too cold. So it's great for an insulator. Um, it's also acoustically much better than concrete. Um, it's in concrete, the, the, the use of concrete produces more CO2 into the air, whereas hempcrete literally takes CO2 out of the air. Okay, so it, it, also hempcrete buildings, if they're designed the right way, can last for hundreds of years. So like the list goes on and on and on and on and on and how we can use hemp the hemp plant specifically just this one plant there's many other things there's other organic materials too but the hemp plant has more uses than anything else that i've ever come in anything nothing else has anything close to as many good uses as the hemp plant has it is also able to be matured and harvested within four months it can re it. it can be grown in soil without fertilizer that's already been damaged and messed up by other chemicals and, and, and bad you know farming practices so it can literally go into these damaged areas and rejuvenate them all right now those plants that are used in those areas should not be used for human consumption they should be used for things like products that aren't being ingested in the human body because the hemp plant actually literally extracts the poisons and the toxins and the chemicals from the ground and it goes into the plant so if you were to ingest that those particular plants in those particular areas that have been damaged by pollution and this and this you would be ingesting um, aspects of that pollution which isn't good for the human body but you could use, um, you know, those those plants for things like, you know, structures or things that aren't being consumed by human beings and other living beings. Um, and this would also perpetuate good growth and, and good soil, which is something that if we don't change the way that we treat our soil in 60 years, we will not have enough good soil to grow enough food to feed the human population. So these are real big issues. And the hemp plant, thank goodness, is here to help change this whole economy from a bad one to a good one. But we need to start talking about it. We need to start using it. And so I'm going to continue speaking about it until I see people really taking heed. Um, and I'm not trying to be angry, but at the same time, it's something that needs to be done because it's just like the benefits are ridiculous. And I know there's, it's been blacklisted on purpose because the enemy, the opposition, the nefarious ones know that it threatens literally just about 90%, if not more, of their whole economy and way that they have power over this planet and the human beings. It also allows human beings to get back to their natural, wild, organic God design, source design, whatever you want to call it, self, and give them their raw, true, authentic power back, and also give them a way to give back to the rest of the planet, the animals, the waters, and the elements. So, all right, I love you guys. Hope you have a good day. Bye.